I want to ask you a question. How many is too many? 40.3 million people live enslaved every day. Real people are being sold. One out of four of them are children. Can you see them? In cities all across the world, there are those that no one sees. Not only is human trafficking on the rise, but one out of every three women worldwide have experienced physical abuse, and many of those end up homeless. Can you see them? If we only hear the numbers, but never see the faces, is it real to us? Picture her. Every number has a name, and her name is Mealy. Can you see her? Jane sees her, and Jane sees who God could make Mealy to be. A quiet and meek spirit who wakes up early every morning to see the Mealies of this world and to do everything she can to change their story, no matter the cost. This is a day with Jane Caldclue. Morning, this is starting out the day. I don't know if you can say it's a typical day in my life in ministry. My office is where I can set up my computer, get my papers, my Bible. Um, just sitting, sitting before the Lord, many times just in silence. It was in the moments of silence where the Lord spoke most clearly to Jane. Just after completing the Hakkiai Leader Experience and returning to Buenos Aires, Argentina, Jane began fighting human trafficking for the first time and has relentlessly pursued justice for others ever since. From morning meetings to late night calls about victims, she has surrendered to this daring journey. Last night, I got a call from uh, another province in Argentina about a young woman who is dealing with the, the mafias of human tra trafficking, trying to find her mother, who is a girl when she was four years old. She has a baby, she's still on her life. And so we're working, networking with that. Uh, plan to go downtown uh, in just a little while. After working with women in downtown, God opened the door for Jane to start Paths to Justice, a shelter that is all about the hope of Jesus. Coming out this morning to visit the, the girls uh, that are there. And uh, this shelter is something we opened exactly three years ago, and we have served women victims of abuse, of extreme violence, of uh, trafficking, reuniting moms with their kids. All come through the judicial system. And this is a place where not only are we sheltering these women and giving them new skills, they're being rehabilitated. We're, we're going through spiritual care, intensive spiritual care. This is such an important part of our program. Neely is one of the girls that has been in the shelter since last August. And uh, she has a, a very special story when she came, a uh, pregnant teenager who didn't even want to keep on with her uh, pregnancy and, and got open doors. She grew up in shelters and homes and she was really needing a place and um, God brought her here and I would like you to meet me. Yeah, I think Dios hizo mucho en mí porque yo estaba muy perdida. I believe God did a whole lot in me because I was so lost. Estaba a punto de abortar. I was about to abort my baby. What, what is it that changed to you, changed your mind? Eh, las personas de acá, más que nada, influyeron en todo. The, the people here are the ones who made a big influence. Porque siempre me da mucho amor. Nada, como que eso también me ayudó a reflexionar a lo que iba a hacer. Everyone gave me so much love. This made me 
rethink what I was about to do. Mili uh, was taken for a sonogram and when she saw the baby moving, uh, that changed her mind. Su corazón latía muy rápido. The little heart just was beating so fast. Los movimientos también se mueven un montón. The baby moves a lot now and she just is, is so excited. She's going to have a little girl. And this is God's doing. She's going to pray. Cosa que yo no, no hubiera hecho en otro momento. Yes, I, never, I never prayed before. She says, I pray. Como que tengo fe. O sea, digo, sí, si lo pido. O sea, como que veo a la gente que, que va a la iglesia, cree en Dios y, y las veo bien y bueno, yo también quiero estar así. And when she goes to church now, she sees people that love God and she says, I want that. Not only has God rescued Mili, he has rescued her little girl. After many meetings at Paths to Justice and in the downtown area of Buenos Aires, the long journey back home begins for a woman of radical obedience. Now the evening of the day, riding home on the bus instead of taking subway and bus combination is going on the bus. And this is pretty far for the course, about an hour and a quarter till I get home. And uh, it's been a productive day. The visions that this quiet woman crafted with God's guidance are now being held up by the Argentinian government as the model to emulate across the nation. And right at the center of it all, is the gospel. So I ask you again, how many is too many? Jane would tell you, one is one too many. Her journey to end gospel poverty continues.